Elliot's was 22 inches. What? Yeah. Nice. Big old hog. I'm like, uh, 18 is probably my max. I'm yeah. A, I'm a terrible mine fisherman. Was, mine was probably 18. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was a pretty fish, though. But that was so much fun. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good to see you. We were just talking about fishing just a yeah, second ago. Paul uh, shared a video, a picture. He was bragging. He caught some monstrous brown yeah. trout on the Yellowstone, I, was it? No, it was actually on the Madison. On the Madison, yeah. really? Which part? Upper, upper, upper Madison. Madison. Okay. Wonderful. Dry fly, beautiful. Over by Ennis? Catching, yep. Okay. So, Great fishing. So if you're not familiar, Montana is like one of the homes of some of the world's best blue ribbon yes. trout fishing. Yes. You know, river Right in our backyard. It. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's kind of part of the culture. It is. Out How here. are you? I'm doing well. Should we talk guitars? We could, but I'd we rather talk, talk about fishing. fishing a little bit. Yeah, later. we should go yeah. fishing. Oh, I'd love to. But fishing. today we need to talk guitars because we have some cool guitars. Oh, that's true. So, <laughs> Welcome. So, yeah, Paul here, Music Villa, Quentin King. We're going to do two things today, okay? We're going to check out two new Music Villa customs, okay? I'll explain them. But we're also going to compare rosewood versus mahogany. So right now you've got the mahogany one. Yes. Okay. Let me just tell you what these are. Has anyone ever heard of an M36? Well, they're Isn't out that a there. a firecracker? Yeah, that too. M I M80. <laughs> no, M36 is a Martin guitar that they make, right? Yes. Okay. In Martin world, you have you know single O, double O, triple O. You also have quad O. Mm -hmm. Okay. So quad O is one bigger than the triple O otherwise known as an M36. Okay, the M36 is a rosewood back and sides, and it's just one bigger than a triple O. So mm -hmm. the lower bout there, yep. It's a little, it's a bulky, little, yeah. little yep. We, we love the M36. We sell a lot of them because we stock them because I call it the, it's like a dreadnought, but comfort of an OM or a triple O body shape. And the, the key is it's thinner here like an OM or a triple O. Mm -hmm. So the dreadnought, you know, is a little bit thicker. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it maintains that relative. I mean, what's the depth on the lower bow? It's not as the, deep as a dreadnought back here either. Well, you know what? That I'd have to check the measurement mm -hmm. on. But one bigger than a, a OM or a triple O. So mm -hmm. you get this bigger You've got body shape. Width, but, but yeah. not so much but not depth. depth. And uh, so uh, the response you get is a lot more bass than you get out of the standard. Correct. Uh, with the normal. Yeah. And it's, it's, there is a lot of depth for this, like you say. Oh, yep. Not quite dreadnought but Not it's quite dreadnought, but it's certainly close. more than yep. your standard uh, triple O. People go, I want to play a dreadnought, but it's hard to, it's hard for me front. to play, mm -hmm. and I, but they want that dreadnought tone. Mm -hmm. I always offer an M36 to those folks. But here's the key. We, you don't see an M36 in a mahogany. These are Music Villa Customs, so we've kind of designed them just like all our Music Villa Customs. Uh, thinner top, um, we do, it's, it's a one-piece mahogany neck, you know, there's golden era bracing, there's like custom shop features, right? Mm -hmm. So, we did a rosewood and a mahogany, and they're three-piece backs. Yes, I'm going to do a slow yep. spin. It's kind of cool, it makes yes. me think of like, a, like the, o, the O version of a 35. Yes. You know, with a three yes, piece. Exactly. Back. And uh, very nice. And in the mahogany it's just kind of It's very it's I mean, different. It's, it's, it's just there, we just did it subtle. as tradition to stick with the Right. It's not the uh you know, the what do you call it? The um herringbone yeah, right. that you would typically see in Right. It's in very um, But a lot of neat appointments. All these are very cool tuners. Yeah, right? are these vintage open geared. They're just I've ne standard. I've never noticed this little squiggle thing. Oh, you know, those are the new ones. Those are the shallower. The shallows. Yeah. Okay. So very nice. And the I think it does translate into, um, so I primarily play a dreadnought, but I really like the sound of this guitar. It appeals to my dreadnought ear because it's got some depth. I don't want to blow out the mic because it feels like this, this guitar will project. Yep. Um, but it's got a sensitivity to, it's uh, really nice and clear uh, on the high notes. So there's a, there's a lot of clarity that I think you know can get lost in a dreadnought where it's like right. it seems like the dreadnought has this big you know it's very high on the low end and then it scoops out of the middle and then a little bit on the high end but it's not this is it's like deep on the bottom and yep. then 
maintains that that volume through the mids and the highs, so it's a very well balanced guitar. Right? And uh, people criticize, um, or they they constructively comment on where I I, yeah. I I strum, so I'm trying to get around, but it's got a great tone. And the playability is really nice. You should talk a little bit because isn't this? So yeah, so that's the thing I haven't mentioned yet. Uh -huh. Generally, an M36 model, a stock M36 model, is the same scale length as an OM. Mm -hmm. Okay, the longer scale length. These are both a little bit shorter scale length. So we've done these in the what would be like a triple O uh, scale length. Mm -hmm. So this is the shorter scale length of the bunch, thinner like an OM or a triple O. A little bit bigger on the on the lower on the lower bout, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a great comfortable guitar. It, but that's the kicker: is these it are shorter play, scale. You know, for, we've talked about this in like twelve frets, and sometimes some of these other models that have the shorter scale. Yeah. Not only is it more navigable, um, because you don't have to stretch as far in between frets, but yeah. the compactness feels like it provides a punchiness to it. You know, again, kind of like a I always yeah. think of like a Tyson. You know, where there's a lot of power in. Yeah, in the you get a nice compact space. Um, um, out of it. You know, we should we should say too. A lot of people, you know, you talk about scale length. A lot of people ask, what is what does that exactly mean? Yes, between there and here, yep. okay, it's like twenty four something versus twenty five something. So there's not a lot of difference in a short scale and a long scale. It's mm -hmm. probably about. I should know this. Less than a half I, inch. Yeah, roughly. But what's half weird inch. is how. Even though it's, you know, if you look at the numbers, just by the numbers, you're like, that doesn't seem like a significant difference. But when you play it and when you hear it, yeah, it does translate into a notable, noticeable yeah. uh, improvement, at least in my feel, uh, for the uh, maneuverability around, yeah. around the scale. And you, you know, it's not that one's better or other. You know, I mean, some people are going to want the long scale version of this because it's it might be snappier it's got yeah. you know they would like to hit it in a certain way no, I, it just depends for me i i dig i like short scales i mean i the guitar play is in a short scale but right. it's i like the we've talked about when i'm playing these types of guitars part of the 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 i don't know how i describe the feel benefit is you know this kind of i can hug it in and then if, if my arm's way out here on a long neck, yeah. I, I kind of lose that sensation of I'm um, up tight and really right, bear hugging yeah. the guitar. So when the short scales, it feels like everything's compact. Yeah. It feels like I don't have to expend as much energy playing the guitar. I, and maybe yeah. that's just all in my head. Well, if you played your dread all day and you were really tired, and you but you really wanted that dread not sound, you could grab this one. Yeah. What? Should we hit compare it to yeah, the I think, uh, I Rosewood? Think we'll, we'll do some side by side yeah. at the end. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This is a music field of custom, so yeah. it's not like you can say go out and check this right, out you can't. somewhere else. You have to fly to Bozeman, pick yeah. one up, or we'll ship you one. Yeah. But <laughs> but the uh, what I can say is that it's very cool. It's, it's cool. So generally, you're not going to see it in a mahogany, just mm -hmm. so you know. But but Martin does make a stock M36. And uh, it's always a three-piece back, and yeah. it's, like I said, one bigger than a triple. Check it out. So I'm just real quick, to I know we'll get some here. pictures here. I'll just pick it up real quick. Strum I like it. slightly lighter. Is that a stain that's different? I mean, No, this it's is just a different wood. color wood. Okay. Yeah, but there, it's all different. rosewood, yep. right? Yep. This all is rosewood. the rosewood version. You can see Correct. it like the return. So it's not herringbone, but it's no. like some other type of... Well, you can see it more. There's just more contrast there than there yeah. is in the mahogany. Uh, but th this one, if I tuned it up a minute ago. The, um, the, the necks feel really nice on both of these. I mean, other than s some of the appointments and the woods, they're, yeah. the specs are the same. Short scale? Yep. Short uh, scale. I can't remember what neck we did on this, but you'll see it on the site. You know, check, out our, check out our website. It's got uh, s slowly rotating, so not to mess it up. I don't, the new shallower, you say, yep. open backs. Yep. Um, this is this is a, just a nice looking guitar. It's got the, the red points in the... Pins. Yeah, that, that's where it's at. Let's hear it. Right. Now See? this is I, I hear deeper, louder. It has no, a dread knotty it's dread, sound. It's almost dread knot. Part of it is you know the the style I'm playing, but it's. Uh, just 
plays like butter. It's got a lot of depth, I, and it's very comfortable to play. Yeah. There's, um, I don't know, it I makes like me it. think of like a James Taylor, Paul Simon guitar, where you're troubadour, finger style, yeah. uh, singer, but you want volume. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, check them out. They're all on our website, musicvilla.com, and... Uh, Check out all the specs. We'll go to the end of the video here. We'll do a little rosewood mahogany comparison. Side so side. we'll show the world what the M36 <laughs> is yes. slash quado, and then yeah. we will also at the same time Kinda. compare rosewood versus mahogany. Yeah, yeah. Give you a little yeah. sample side by side. Really nice guitar side. And um, and then I got a surprise for you. Uh oh. Yeah. Coming up. We all good? <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right. Thanks, Quentin. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.